Okay, so we're told that the number of bacteria in a lab dish at any time t hours after the start of an experiment is given by the function b of t is equal to 50 times 10 to the 0.3 t. When will there be 10,000 bacteria in the lab dish? So, in this case, we're going to set this equation equal to 10,000. Okay, the question is when, so that means we're looking for T. Okay, let's divide both sides by 50. So one of those zeros cancels and 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. Okay, we need to write this in logarithmic form. So it's the log of 200 is equal to 0.3 T. And then divide both sides by 0.3. This is a application kind of problem so I like the log form <clears throat> but the question is when well I don't really know how many hours the log of 200 divided by 0.3 is so figure that out and it is approximately 7.67 hours it will take for this to turn into 10,000 bacteria. So that's a little scary. We started with 50. I know that we started with 50 because 50 is that number right there. If I plug in zero for T at the very beginning, when T is zero, when you plug in zero, you get 50. So you start with 50 and it turns into 10,000 in less than eight hours. Bacteria tends to grow very quickly. Okay, let's look at example B, which is a baseball problem. It says, suppose that the value in millions of dollars of the Washington Nationals baseball team at any time T years after 2006 is given by the function V of T is equal to 450 times 10 to the 0 0.02 T. When will the team be worth $1 billion? So uh, we need to do a little converting here because it says that the value is in millions of dollars and they're asking us when will it be worth one billion. So we can't just set our equation equal to one billion, okay? Uh, one billion is, let's see here, let me get this right. It would be a um, thousand, yeah, it would be a thousand millions. One billion is a thousand millions. So we set this equation equal to 1,000, not equal to 1. That would not make sense. <coughs> Divide both sides by 450. So we've got 100 over 45. Those are both divisible by 5. So 20 over 9. Yeah. Now the exponential is isolated, so we can write it in log form. The log of 20 over 9 is equal to 0 0.02t. And then we need to divide by 0 0.02. Type that in, the log of 20 over 9, make sure you close the parentheses, divided by 0.02 is 17.339, and in the context of this problem, it's T years after 2006, so that would be in what, uh, sometime in the year 2023, add 17 to 2006. Let's see here, 0.3, about a third of the year, so about April, if you want to get technical about it, April-ish. <clears throat> All right, let's look at one more context here. Here's a medical application. 
Suppose that the amount of medicine in milligrams active in a patient's blood at any time t hours after an injection is given uh, by m of t is equal to 500, so apparently they injected 500 milligrams, times 10 to the negative 0.071 t. A little bit of explanation here, that number is negative in the <coughs> exponent because that is the amount of medicine is going to be decreasing over time. The other two contexts that we've been talking about, uh, the baseball team has been adding value. The bacteria have been growing, but in this case, the medicine is decreasing in the bloodstream. When will there be only 25 milligrams of active medicine? So, uh, <clears throat> we don't have to do any converting here. We're good because we've got milligrams here and we've got milligrams here, so we can just set our equation equal to 25. And begin by dividing by 500. Okay, uh, 25 goes into 500. Uh, 5 times 4, uh, 20 times? 120. We put that in log form, so we have the log of 1 over 20 is equal to negative 0.071t. Make sure you don't lose any of the pieces. So the log of 1 over 20 over negative 0.071 is our amount of time. That is approximately 18.324 hours. Anytime you're dealing with these contextual problems, make sure that you give it some units. Okay, so this one is in hours. Um, <clears throat> so guess what? If you thought you could go in the medical field and not have to do any math, uh, you will have to do some math if you're having to administer and uh, do medicines and, and things like that. I know my sister had to. She's a nurse, and she had to do this when she was working in the hospital. So keep that in mind. It's not difficult. You just have to do it. Okay, let's look at <clears throat> the next example there. Sometimes I don't know if you paid attention very much on that worksheet, but not all the problems had a base of 10. Okay, not all the problems have a base of 10. Uh, so how do we approach those? It's not really any different, okay? It really is not any different. It's just the log is going to be um, a little bit different. So uh, first step is to isolate the exponential expression. That's what we've been doing. We've been getting that 10 to the whatever by itself. Then we write it in logarithmic form. That's what's going to look a little bit different today. <clears throat> Solve for x, and then we're going to do something called change of base that I'll show you here in a sec, okay? So... With the first example there, we have 2 to the x is equal to 3.5. Okay, 2 to the x is equal to 3.5. The exponential expression is already isolated, so we just have to write this in logarithmic form. <clears throat> well, to write this in logarithmic form, the log can have a different base. It doesn't always have to have a base of 10. So... In this case, the base is always the same as the base of the exponential, okay? So the, so the log is going to have a base of 2. It's a subscript, okay? It should be sitting down below the, the regular line. You should write it a little bit smaller. <coughs> Excuse me. And the 3.5 and the x kind of switch places. That's the best way that I can think of to describe it. <clears throat> because we're trying to get x by itself. We've got to get it out of that exponent, and this is how we do that. Okay? Now, change of base. If you look at your calculator, when you type in the log, it doesn't give you any option for putting a base in there, unless I don't think anybody in here, some of the newer calculators do let you change the base. But the ones that I've got here and the one that I'm using up here don't let you do that. But you can still do this. <clears throat> change of base says that you take the log of, I call it the big number, okay, not the subscript, not the base, so the log of 3.5 
divided by the log of the base. <clears throat> okay, that's how we're going to evaluate this number. So log base 2 of 3.5 can be evaluated in your calculator by typing in the log of 3.5, make sure you close your parentheses, divided by the log of the base, which in this case is 2. So this answer is approximately 1.807. And you can check it. Okay. You go back to the original, see if 2 raised to that power is equal to 3.5. Well, go round, just do 2, the little exponent button, and press second negative, and you should get 3.5 if you type it in correctly. Okay? So 2 to the 1.807 power is 3.5. Okay? Example B. Example B. This exponential is not isolated. It's being multiplied by 5. So that's our first step. We need to get rid of that 5. It's being multiplied, so we divide both sides by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Okay, let's write this in log form. 2 to the n is equal to 7 is equivalent to the log base 2 of 7 is equal to n. The log base 2 of 7 is equal to n. So to evaluate that, that's the log of 7 divided by the log of 2, which is approximately 1.8. Okay, 2.807 is approximately n. And you can check it. Raise 2 to that power and then multiply it by 5. And you get 35. Okay, let's look at one that's got a little bit more stuff going on. C. 5 times 2 to the t plus 20 is equal to 125. This one we need to begin by subtracting 20 from both sides. So it says 5 times 2 to the t is equal to 105. Divide both sides by 5. 2 to the t is equal to 21. Write that in log form. That's the log base 2 of 21 is equal to t. So we need to type in the log of 21 divided by the log of 2 to get... <coughs> Four point three nine two is approximately t. Now, in all honesty, I prefer the log form of the answer. Okay, I like log base two of twenty one, but if it does ask you, well, what is a decimal approximation for it? I just want to make sure that you know how to how to find that in your calculator. Okay, so as an answer, I'd rather see what I have boxed in red. But we're going to do a, a 10 marks tomorrow that asks you uh, to round to the nearest tenth, so you actually have to evaluate it in your calculator. Okay, so all these have been base 2. Let's look at one that has a different base. Let's look at a base of 5. Nothing changes except for when you put it in log form, the little base is going to be 5. So 5 to the t is equal to 48 in logarithmic form is log base 5 of 48. So now instead of dividing by the log of 2, we're going to divide by the log of 5. <coughs> and we get 2.405 is approximately our variable. Okay. Two more examples. And we down here for a second. Subtract 12 from both sides on E. So 3 times 5 to the R is equal to 48. Divide both sides by 3. 48 divided by 3 is 16. Log base 5 of 16 is equal to R. 